Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, or actually Saturday, is my birthday. And guess what I got sent to me? Alright, hope everybody's doing okay today. Alright, so let's unbox this bad boy. What do y'all say? Our phone, it. Alright, so we got the LG right here. Okay, here we go. Let's pull it out. There it is. All right. Very wow. This thing is. This thing is super lightweight. Wow, I can't believe how light it is. Oh yeah, everybody loves that noise. All right. Put the put it right here. All right, so I'm gonna turn it. There we go, just like that. All right. Okay, so first things first. We need to. TV face down and what I'm going to attempt to do is install the legs on it which they look very self-explanatory it looks like it only goes in one way it's a uh, it's a toolless system so you don't need any tools to get the job done open the other one bada bing bada boom Put it in like that. It, and it. Hmm. Okay, we got power cord. Power cord. Wow. Look at that power cord. That's unusual. Okay. So let's pick the TV back up, which it's it's extremely light. This is the uh, the 43 LJ 5000 model series of TV. So. Difficulties here. I feel like I'm stuck on something. Uh oh, the leg fell off already. Damn, that's quick. That it's the way that the TV is being held by it. I don't. I'll tell you what, that them legs are sketchy. I do not like the sketchiness of the legs. Uh-uh. Do not. Alright guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's turn it on. And there we go. Power on. It even said it power on. That's too funny. Welcome. Welcome. Okay button on the remote control. You can start using your LG TV after these easy setup steps. Okay, so we hit okay on it, and we're going to get started. English, home use, yep, we don't need no demo. So before before starting, be sure that the TV antenna is connected. Oh, well, we don't have one right now, so that's just the way it is. So we'll go into there. Okay, we'll close that out. Something hooked to it real fast. All right, guys, so I went ahead and hooked the PlayStation to it. Let's see what kind of... Uh, clarity we would get out of it so we're just going to uh, so anyway to go with the TV uh, that I just got um, I got this USB LED uh, light kit from uh, Aurora so I'm gonna hook that to the back of the TV to give it a cool LED glow and finish or Aurora kit that I added to it it definitely gives a nice uh, glow against the back wall and I think it will definitely appeal to the look that I am desiring uh, there's not really much connection going on back here guys there's just the, the USB port and the HDMI port like I said 
Um, although I think there might be a few more I.O. down here like some RCA connectors and like a cable connection. Um, but you know who really cares about that? It's all about display port, HDMI, and USB connectors and stuff. But that right there is pretty much just my overall view and idealism of the LJ5000 by LG. It's an LED TV and I'm happy with it. I think it's going to work fine for me. And it's a good birthday present. So what do you guys think? You guys approve of it? Yeah? Give me a thumbs up if you guys approve and you like the TV. Because I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. One thing I would have to say about this is even though that the speakers are down in the TV, that does actually put out some pretty good audio. Tuesday, right? That's right. Nice and loud. I like that in the TV. Good audio. I just wish that the speakers were facing forward, but then we wouldn't have this smooth, clean bezel look that we have today. LED display by LG. Comes with one USB in plug in the back, one HDMI in plug in the back, and that's it. There's no other connections to it, which is the only gripe I have about the TV but it is a beautiful TV it is 43 inches is exactly what I wanted and it's under 250 bucks I think it was like 140 something dollars like that at Best Buy or uh, Walmart don't really remember um, but thank you so much LG for your beautiful TV um, thank you guys for watching